Good morning and welcome to another video from EarnPed.com. I am Stevie B. We are here with our heater juice. <sighs> Enjoying this beautiful morning on planet Cyrene. I am about to have to go back to Calypso. Um, I came planning to do one set of things. It did not work out for me. So I had to do another set of things. Now I get to go all the way back to Cali, get more supplies and different weapons set up and come back. So before I do, I wanted to do a few things in this first video today that I'm going to shoot. I want to show you guys how even the newest players to Entropia can make money on Cyrene and how you can make even more than you can on Calypso. So if you've seen my other videos, you know that there's the collect 10,000 bone sample missions that you can do on Calypso by killing punies, getting bone samples, and then eventually you can trade those in for tokens that get you one agility point. And you don't really want to claim that agility point until late in the game, right? Well, Cyrene has something very, very similar. These are pleak wings. Rare pleak wings. So, pleak is a puny bird found here on Cyrene. You collect 10,000 of these, and you get to trade them in, I believe, for a stamina point. We're about to find out. Now, here's the difference between agility and stamina, and here's one of the reasons this is very, very important. So, agility is an attribute, and it slowly goes up as you hunt, as you use melee, stuff like that, which is why you want to wait so long to redeem your agility token on Calypso. On Cyrene, stamina is different. Stamina does not build naturally as you play the game. In fact, if we look at attributes, we can see that I only have two stamina. I started the game with one stamina, as all new players do. Now, years and years ago, back when it was still Project Entropia, some new accounts had, I believe, eight or maybe even nine stamina right off the get-go. However, stamina has an HP increase every nine stamina. Well, it does not naturally grow. Unlike all the other attributes, it just stays wherever it is. The only way to grow it is through specifically doing missions that get you stamina rewards. As you know, this is not possible through the new codex system on Calypso at all, with some of the old iron missions that some of the older players might still have time before they phase out to complete. You might be able to get a stamina point here and there. The only reason I have two is because I had one stamina, and then last week I spent all week grinding out 10,000 Argonaut kills for an old iron mission I had. Um, new players, unfortunately, cannot get that. That's how I got two stamina. Now we're about to raise it to three. So here's the deal, guys. It's exactly the same as on Calypso. You come to Cyrene, you find these puny pleak. They're in huge numbers in certain areas. In fact, let's pull up the map real quick. Notice that I am here at roughly 138.809 longitude 776.89 latitude. If we go straight west and then down just a hair, if you come to right about 137.977 longitude 776.57 latitude, you're going to find a ton of puny pleak. They're these little birds, there's huge amounts of them. I literally took no damage when I was just standing in there blasting them left and right with a small level mind force chip. Um, the drop rate seems to be about the same. I killed about 2,000 puny pleak. I ended up with about 300, 400 bones somewhere in that area, or feathers somewhere in that area. Um, so the drop rate's roughly the same for the bone samples as it is for the pleak wings, which makes sense since they're essentially mirror missions of one another. So the biggest thing is. These go for almost twice as much as the bone samples. On Cali, the general rule of thumb is 1,000 bone samples sells for about 10 ped. On Cyrene, 1,000 of these rare pleak wings goes for 17 ped. So instead of 1,000 bones for 10 ped, it's 1,000 pleak wings for 17 ped. can be 16, can be 15, but 17 seems to be the trend on auction at the moment. So obviously the more players that come and start buying up auction, that price is going to go up. The more people that come to farm them and they don't sell, that price is going to go down. But I've been paying pretty steadily 17 ped for 1,000. I did grind out almost 1,000 wings myself, but since I have so many other things to do and I don't necessarily need to kill thousands and thousands of puny creatures to get stronger, I decided to just buy the majority and help some other players out by pay paying that good old markup. So naturally, I'm paying about $17 for the stamina point when you calculate it all in, but let's go ahead and get it done and let's see what happens. So here's Ben Carey, the Pleak Orthologist. You'll notice there's also a Pleak Chain. 
Um, I believe the first one was 2000 Pleak. I did that. I started working on the second one. But none of these Pleak Rangers ranks 1 through 6 give me uh, any kind of rewards that I actually need. I looked up all the rewards. Uh, there was some anatomy, I think, some rifle, some pistol. I don't necessarily need those skills. In fact, I deliberately stay away from those skills because of mayhem, which is another reason I decided to just purchase the majority of mine. So we're going to go with rare pleak wings for Ben Carey. Hey, Ice T, how you been? Now I've been hanging. Now I've been hanging around these parts trying to collect some uh, wings. You know, rare pleak wings, and I need a lot, like a lot, buddy. Maybe you can hand me over, say, ten thousand of them. Sound great? You know what? I'll make it worth your while, Boogala. I'll give you <clears throat> Ben adapts a sing-song voice, one hundred stamina to tokens. Ah, uh, yes, you know it, 10,000, no, that's way too many. Now, if you go with, ah, uh, yes, you know it, and then you don't have them in your inventory, it's okay, it just exit the mission, and it says mission aborted, and you can come start it again. This isn't a one-shot thing. You can click yes, even if you don't have them on you, it's just not going to do you any good. So we're going to go with yes, you know it. Mission items needed, 10,000 rare pleak wings. Going to put them in, turn screen, and good to go. And woo woo, stamina tokens. I love these bad boys. They're so awesome looking. You see Nova fragments, you see Blazer fragments. You just don't see stamina tokens every day, right, guys? Just doesn't happen. So there we are. Haha, -ha, here you go, baby. Make sure and tell your friends, eh? Okay, well, I just told all my friends because you're watching this video. You're all my friends, so now you know. We're going to click back on him, and notice this is not a repeatable mission. It's a one-time thing, guys. Otherwise, your stamina would go through the roof. Maybe someday this thing glitches. You better believe I'll be here getting these wings left and right. But if you're a new player, this is a great way, if you don't want to spend all your time on Calypso, to come here, farm some wings, make some money. Um, also, if you're going to do it anyway, guys, I mean, the only big problem is there's not as many buyers on Cyrene as there are on Calypso. In fact, anytime I come to Cyrene, I bring all my supplies I'm going to need with me because the auction on Cyrene, for the large part, is more or less dead. Um, now, the stuff that you know is in demand, like pleak wings, bones from the uh, puny creature that you need for the first stage of the fat mission, bone-in meat, which you need for the second stage of the fat mission that I covered in the last video, that kind of stuff does tend to do kind of okay on auction here on Cyrene because people don't want to spend all their time on Cyrene going out and getting that stuff. But it's just not as vibrant of an auction system as it is back on Calypso, just due to the lower number of players that are naturally on Cyrene. So this is a great way if you're a new player, you can make some extra ped and you can see a little bit more of the game too. Notice I was walking really slow, that's because those things weighed like 200 kilograms. Even though I can carry up to 343, uh, I already had 293 kilograms on me. So this is a great way if you're doing well with the bones on Calypso, this is something else you might check out because it's essentially the same thing but it's a mirror mission. Uh, literally same thing, seems to be same drop rate, same kind of reward, they just replace agility with stamina, bones with pleak wings, and Calypso for Cyrene. So great way you can get ahead. Also 70% extra money uh, is always good. The difference between the, the 10 ped per thousand that you get on Cali for the bones and the 17 ped per thousand that you get on Cyrene Definitely extra money is always good, extra markups always good. So something some of the newer players might want to check out because even the newest of players with some just basic TT weapons can take out these pleak pretty easy. It's more of a matter of patience than anything. So guys, this is probably going to be one of my shorter videos. I'm going to actually leave it there for today. I am going to try and make another video before I head out to Calypso that covers being able to get the Maze Hammer here on Cyrene because that's something that a lot of new players can get. It is account bound but it's very very cheap and easy to get and it has some cool stuff. I'm also going to try and show you guys the maze um, where you can actually get certificates that after you get 200 of them allow you to spawn a rare pet and try and tame it. So I'll try and cover all that in the next video. Um, as many of you know I have some real life obligations that I've taken on recently they have slowed down my ability to play EU drastically. They've also slowed down my ability to make videos drastically. However, that does not mean I'm gone. I'm obviously still going to be here any free time I can. It's just between these new obligations and actual rest that I need to keep up with them. I don't have a ton of time. I happen to be completely free today, which is going to help out tremendously. Um, so I will be here. I just won't be on 24-7 like I have been 
Unfortunately, these new obligations do require that I actually leave the house at some point instead of just sitting here multitasking doing everything from the internet. Um, also, keep an eye on earnped.com. As you guys know, I've already announced I've got some changes coming to the payout structure and maybe even the sponsorship. I was originally waiting on PedFlow to choke and die on its own stupidity uh, before I did it. I'm highly debating that now because if we can put them out sooner, why not? It's there to help you guys, right? So let's make it help you guys. I just want to be sure we don't do anything and then decide that we shouldn't have any need to undo it. So that's why I'm taking a little extra caution there. So as always, guys, we appreciate it. Every like, every subscriber we get helps us to get closer to our goals. Even the dislikes that the videos get from the haters, hunting <coughs> pro, purple dong, um, help us out too since no content creator has a 100% like rate on their videos. So we really, really appreciate it. I logged into 25 messages specifically about Sirene and new players that saw the video. I really appreciate that. I always love hearing that. I'll continue to pump them out as long as they're helping. Uh, there's some other stuff here on Sirene I want to get recorded and uploaded for you guys too. It's just going to be a matter of time, so bear with me. As always, go over to earnped.com because when you guys earn on earnped.com, we earn. It helps us both out, and that's how we really appreciate you guys supporting us. As always, if there's specific content you want to see us make that you know is going to be a little bit harder to do without some outside help, the donation uh, link is in the description of the video. If you donate and say, hey, this is specifically to help you guys make specific content, we are more than willing to do that. We've had a couple of donations so far. Uh, we've already got some content created for them. We really appreciate it. Although, by no means are you obligated, we would rather see you guys earn and learn through earnped.com. So, to everybody that's helped us get this far, we appreciate it. To everybody who's just checking out Entropia for the first time, it's the game I love. Somebody asked me yesterday, why don't you start doing Fortnite or, or do a game with a bigger audience? I know it's a niche game. I know it's not for everybody. I know we've got a smaller crowd, and yes, I could make money switching to a different game. But I truly, truly love Entropia. I love the players. I love the game. And part of that is sharing this with everybody in the outside world. So guys, for EarnPed.com, I've been Stevie B. I'll leave it there. I'll be back with another video very, very soon. Until then, continue to learn and earn and take care. See you guys.